video. It's too loud. It's very loud here. I'm crossing the bridge in the uh, freeway I-25, which is today Sunday, Sunday morning. It's not too many people, but the traffic, traffic is, is pretty bad. It's not too bad to be Friday. I have an interesting topic here. I noticed, recently I noticed that I have some, uh, should I go this way? Should I run? I just noticed that I have a few, few Chinese uh, subscribers, new subscribers, which is, which made me happy, right? I mean, made me happy because uh, all my subscribers are from Mexico and uh, USA, United States, because I play music. But lately, I've been trying to make some videos about Chinese. Why? Why am I making videos of China, about China? Well, first of all, I have a really good friends in China. Really, really good friends. And I'm not gonna mention your names because some of them they not they don't have access to internet. I mean to the uh, Western uh, media, the like YouTube or Facebook. But they're really solid friends. They're really good friends. Look at the ground. We have some snow from a couple of days ago. And I'm gonna be talking about. Uh, I got a friend of mine. He's from. China. I need to say my facts. Um, he's a teacher. Yeah, he's a China Chinese. Let me see. Well, his channel is China teacher. Obviously, he's a uh, English teacher in China per se. And. He posted a video about who's gonna take the the place of Serpensa or Serpense what to say or even sea milk it's known as Lao 86 and some other youtubers from China I have to say they set up the the bar so high so even I'm started working on this new project doing videos about China and also China stop, China teacher, and some of the YouTubers. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to do what they do because obviously they live in China for over 10 years. Son, like Winston, he has been in China for, I believe 16 years. So that's a good period of time. They got married with Chinese ladies and it is tough, it is tough. To, to have what do they have, you know, to build up the strong channel and mostly to to have what they have. They have a drones. They have a, 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 a computer editors, video editors. And they have a Xin Xin, they have money. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, I forgot to say, um, Hello? I forgot, I really forgot. It's not Ni Hao, it's when you say hi hello to everybody. But well, take a look at the river. There's some people fishing, I believe so. I don't remember. I've been living here in Denver for 20 years and I don't remember the name of the river, but it's a river. <laughs> I think it's Cherry Creek River. Yeah, it is Cherry Creek River. It's not too bad. I mean, it doesn't look polluted, it doesn't, doesn't look dirty, it looks kind of clean for being a huge city. But well, coming back to the topic, uh, Serpense in Laue 86, they have the equipment and they build that, they work so hard, especially Serpense, because I've been watching his videos and he works so hard to be where he is now. I know he's not living in China anymore, which is sucks because he has a really good uh, content on his videos. But anywho, 
life uh, continues. So I'm sorry making videos here in Denver, Colorado, but I will work my way up to go to China either as a student or as a worker. I doubt it to be a, to be working in China because I don't have a degree even though I'm starting going back to school but it's gonna take me like three four years to get a bachelor's degree so I don't want to go there when I'm 54 because I'm 48 years old I don't want to go there when I'm 52 I want to be like now in good shape the really good shape so I'm gonna go as a student I'm gonna take a uh, uh, Mandarin course. I want to improve my Mandarin Chinese vocabulary. Actually, my language. And yes, yes, I know. Uh, it's going to be tough. But uh, I hope I could, could go to Beijing or Shanghai to study my new uh, career, whatever. I'm being studying with my friend because he's uh, he's probably moved with me as well. So we're gonna be working on to bring you guys a good content, a really good content, professional as Serpent Say or Sea Milk, Low 86, and I know it's gonna take us. A lot it's gonna take a lot of work but I want to do it I want to do it as my my dream so I hope I pretty soon I learned the Mandarin so I can start making videos in Chinese language is hard but it's not impossible so um, we see we see if we can change or at least substitute Serpent Say or Lawi 86. It's gonna be tough, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard. It's gonna take me, at least to me, it's gonna take me a lot of a lot of work. I know China China teacher, he has been living in China, so he has more experience. He he knows how to get around the city and he's good, he's good at what he's doing. He's an English teacher. When I'm in this part of town in Denver, we're gonna call this like the snobby area, like the kind of hipsy area. There's a few modern skyscrapers that looks like Shanghai or Shenzhen. They're not high or tall as Shenzhen or Shanghai, but they look really modern. Some are like this one. I have no idea how old this is this building. But I'm pretty sure it's not it's not no it's not a new building. But yeah, this is this is my city, this is where I've been living for the last 20 years. I met a lot of good uh, Chinese friends as well. Very very good friends. And uh, I think I'm on the right path. Go to China, stay there for maybe six, seven months, like I said in the previous video and learn mandarin learn chinese that, that that'll be my 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 goal and i i can i hope i can build us some uh, good subscribers so some of you uh, please share this video and help me to build up my 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 channel i promise you I promise you guys, I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna make uh, this channel. I'm gonna make good videos, really good content. And I'm gonna try to copy those famous China bloggers. I will not. Interesting. But uh, what I promise you guys is, I'm gonna make really good good videos and I want to show you let me you know a lot of things are in my head right now like look at this this building this tower it's actually a bridge don't you 
it doesn't look like like a Shenzhen or even Hong Kong, Shanghai or Shanghai. I'm not quite sure how you how you can say name of the city, but absolutely, it looks like Shenzhen or some other some other big city in in China. I'm tired. I'm out of shape. Uh, the last holidays I've been eating a lot of uh, not healthy food. So I'm trying to go back in shape. And I'm right here. This is just downtown. Downtown. It is I like I like my city, honestly. Uh, if I go to Shenzhen or some other city in China. And I'm not gonna be that surprised because the skys skyscraper buildings they are tall because we have a really good decent skyscrapers here but the only thing I will be surprised is uh, that the night time because they kind of color it and they uh, put neon colors at night which I've seen videos and they they look they look really beautiful it looks fantastic so this is uh, the video for today I want to say hi to my new Chinese subscribers Ni Hao and Xie for watching my videos and we will be in we will be in touch so remember you guys you are awesome and stay that way and i will be talking to you guys later damn it's cold it's freaking cold here i don't know how many degrees we are at the moment but it's freaking cold it is cold i was gonna rent these uh, scooters but uh they're expensive they like a quarter per every minute so for four minutes it's dollar so it doesn't make any sense absolutely doesn't make any sense to grab a to rent a scooter i don't think i don't see the the point of it i'm ready to buy my own scooter and drive right at, right around Denver. i want to show you later so stay as soon and we'll see you in the next video for now Chai Chan. Thank <laughs> you.